In this video, we're going to have a look at the conduction pathways of the heart. So this is the conduction of the electrical signal which tells the heart to contract in a certain order. So I'll just draw the heart up like this. And we're looking at the heart which has been cut open to reveal all four chambers. Now I'm drawing in the conduction pathway, but I'll explain it in more detail in a moment. The arrows show the direction of the conduction pathway. So the signal originates in the sinoatrial node, also known as the SA node, and this signal kicks off the conduction pathway. So this sinoatrial node sets the basic rhythm of the heart, which we call sinus rhythm. It can do this all by itself, even if the heart was removed from the body, but it can be altered by the brain to suit the body's needs. Then, from the SA node, the signal runs all over both atria and ends up in this atrioventricular node, also known as the AV node. At the AV node, there is a delay of about 120 milliseconds before it sends the signal down the bundle of Hiss. The signal then splits and runs down the right and left bundle branches. The left is activated just before the right, and this is important when we look at an ECG. The left bundle branch then splits into the anterior and posterior fascicles. A fascicle is Latin for a little bundle. The signal then spreads out through these Purkinje fibres, which distribute the signal through the ventricles, and there are Purkinje fibres in both the left and right ventricles. In this way, the signal to contract is sent to the correct areas in the correct order. And this is what causes an organised sequential contraction of the heart. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.